This is what a clean air city looks like. Despite a growing population and economy, the air in Copenhagen is some of the freshest in any European city. Green energy to reduce carbon emissions, public transport running on electricity or hydrogen. But most importantly, this is a bicycle city. Today, more than 40% of all commuting is done by bicycle. That means that we don't have as many cars, you don't have as much pollution, and it feels safe because we have a citywide protected bicycle lane network, making sure that even if, whether you're five year old or 85 year old, it's safe to be on the roads of Copenhagen. And, and, and have you grown up in Copenhagen? Have you noticed the change in the air quality? Oh yeah, I definitely have. Today we have clear blue skies. Today you're actually able to breathe the, uh, the air here without feeling that much of a problem. Copenhagen's carbon emissions have dropped by more than 20% in the past 10 years. The city wants to become the world's first carbon neutral capital by 2025. Copenhagen is a world leader in dealing with its air pollution. And it's been a long-term effort led not only by politicians, but supported by its people. Here in the city centre, you can really sense the difference in the air. More than three-fifths of the city's buses, including this one, are fitted with technology to remove dangerous nitrous oxides, or NOx, from their exhausts. How much NOx does it remove from the tailpipe? It removes 99% of the NOx uh, from, the, from the engine. So the emissions that come out are, are non-existing, basically. And what comes out of the tailpipe is just humid air. 75,000 people in Europe are dying prematurely because of NOx. So if we can take it down and take 99% of the exhaust, uh, you know, NOx exhaust out of the buses, it will make a huge impact. Removing the sources of pollution is one thing, but here at the University of Copenhagen, they're going a step further by developing technology that will actually scrub the air clean in cities. So how does your air cleaning technology actually work? We're using the same processes that you find in the atmosphere. This is a combination of sunlight, ozone and water vapor that work together to oxidize pollution and turn it into particles. What we've done here is to accelerate that process by about a factor of a million. And that means that we can clean air in cities, in factories, wherever people are. His technology makes particles of air pollution stick together, meaning they can be collected and removed from the air more easily. And it'll soon come to the UK for testing. Copenhagen shows that cities, even as they grow, can keep their air clean. All it takes is a consistent, committed political direction. Alok Jha, News at 10.